Legend of Total War here with part 136 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we successfully defended Mediolanum. That needs to be repaired. Um, and that's about it. So these guys here need to make their way this way. I am i don't know if Voldendino is going to be able to protect itself against this army here, but I need to get rid of their cities. Because they just seem to have, like, fucking an infinite supply of these goddamn armies. I've got to, got to stop where they're coming from, you know? Rather than killing individual rats, what we'll do is we'll fucking burn out the rat hole. These guys are in my way. So it would, have been, it would have been good if I had a spy around here, but I often forget to recruit them. And right now they need to be focusing on their garrison, so I can only recruit one unit a turn. Take up the spear and also, Put on your I, I don't know if I should be bloody saying this now, but this is like... Because you guys won't see this episode for like a year, but like... I'll have completely forgot about it, but anyway. Just talking about things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, after each video, I go and check my emails, I go and respond to e like emails as in comments. And occasionally, so very rarely, you know, I get someone whose rudeness just is fucking off the charts. But they seem entitled to a fucking quit or to an answer. So, I don't know, like... I don't know what gets through these people's minds. Like, you can't ask an unreasonable person a reasonable question and expect a reasonable answer. So, I don't know. It, they're always so fucking hysterical. Like, one thing I get sometimes, and I just don't understand what the, the reasoning is behind someone asking a question like this, right? Okay. So, they usually ask a question like, Why have I not played, you know, Rome Total War as, say, Egypt? Why have I not done that? But they ask it in such a way like, Why have you not played it already? You know, as if it's like, some thing that I was supposed to do. It's like, well, I've, you know, I play a lot of, you know, these, you know, these games. There are a lot of factions. I cannot possibly play them all, you know. I'm working through them, you know. I'm getting through them pretty quickly, but, you know. There's always someone that goes, you know, why haven't I played this obscure faction, you know, before? I was like, okay, was I supposed to? I don't know what goes through these people's minds. I gotta deal with this shit on a daily basis, but sometimes there, there are worse comments than, than others. And today I got one. That was particularly rude. And there's always this this air like, they they think they're really smart, so they uh, they um, add a little thing at the end. It's real fucking narky. Something like, I would appreciate an intelligent answer. Well, if you want a fucking intelligent answer, ask a fucking intelligent question, cunt. Because otherwise, I'm not fuck. I'm not answering any fucking questions that are rude or presumptuous or fucking have an undertone of arrogance to it. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Of course, I only ever address the minority of people, and I know that the majority of you love it when I have a rant at, you know, the small group of idiotic people that they think they're super educated because they've got a degree in arts or something like that. Fucking, I've got two arts degrees. Fucking doesn't mean shit. It's fucking useless. It's fucking useless. It doesn't make me an intelligent person at all, you know? Having knowledge and being intelligent isn't the same thing. You know, some people don't, don't recognize that. And I had to learn that out of university, that doing university degrees didn't make me smart. Okay. I got fucking two degrees. I don't mean shit. And I've said this before, but there's such things as different spectrums of intelligence, okay? Just because somebody works as a plumber doesn't mean that they're stupid, okay? Because plumbing requires a degree of plumbing intelligence, you know? Just because they don't fucking know what the capital of of fucking Croatia is, doesn't necessarily make them an idiot. Because you can't possibly be someone that knows everything. And if you pretend like you do know everything, that makes you a cunt. And an idiot cunt as well. So yeah, just want to get that out there. 
idiots. Just fucking idiots. The thing is, like, I could disable comments on my videos. It would make my day-to-day -day life a lot easier, because then I wouldn't have to respond to anyone. It would be a completely one-way channel. But that's not the way I want to run things. But sometimes when I get comments like that, I just think to myself, you don't have the right to fucking talk to me this way. Maybe if I was like a smaller channel that didn't have world records and hadn't proved myself time and time and time again, maybe then, you know, I, I could accept a little bit of rudeness. But I fucking work hard, so I'm not going to tolerate that shit. Let that be a lesson to anyone who thinks that they can be rude to me and expect me to kiss their ass. Because I don't kiss anyone's ass. I don't kiss CA's ass. I don't fucking kiss anyone's ass. Not at all. If, you, if you've earned a compliment, then you'll get one. And apart from that, you won't get anything. You won't get anything from me unless you earn it. And I don't expect to get anything from anyone unless I earn it either. Because I think that's the way the world should work. You gotta earn. Earn your dues. Anyway, so we're killing these guys up here. I really should be getting on the high ground, but I also don't care. Those guys have javelins. Yeah, if you're going to aim at anyone, try and aim for their general. The thing is, you know, shooting up on the high ground, yeah, it's, it's not going to work. Okay, slow down. I don't want to lose any of my slingers. Pull them back. Oh, you're gonna get shot. Unfortunately, first to die means first to recover. So, doesn't matter. So I certainly didn't want them to recover out of all units. Um, let's see here. Thing is, when I got a, when, I, when I've got a bug up my ass about something, like I like to get it off my chest, and I feel like it's not quite off my chest yet. Because the thing is, like I can say this shit, but I don't hear a response from you guys. I won't hear a response from you guys about this for a fucking year. And by the time you guys get a chance to respond to it, I'll have fucking forgotten. Because I don't, I don't hold grudges like that. You know, I get it off my chest and then I forget about it, which I think is the way to do. I don't sit there with a list of people I want to kill. Oh, these are belly arc slingers. Forgot I hired those. Okay, hang on. Just stop there. You know, it's always good to, you know, do these battles without taking many casualties. Let's, you know, get up on up here and shoot them properly. Because let's face it, we didn't start off with the high ground, you know. In any battle like this, maybe, you know, we should try and get the high ground. I mean, we've got numerical superiority, we've got better units. Yeah, see, now they're, they're coming for us. This is why I didn't really want to come out this way, because they're not, they're not completely stupid. Okay, you had such an opportunity to get away there, and you just totally didn't. How are you so tired? You've been sitting around doing nothing. I fucking hate this. Alright, let's just... I'm just gonna bonsai in. And send him to go kill them. Oh, he's on the other side of the goddamn... God damn it, they really want to get my belly arc slingers. Battle didn't go perfectly, but it's, it's getting there. This is also a very steep high ground, you know? Alright, that's good. How about you guys go and kill them?
them. I wanted to keep them, but at the end of the day, they're just mercenaries. It's not a big deal. I don't really value mercenaries that highly. If we had started off with the high ground, this would have gone a lot better. Why are they taking damage? They must have been fighting to the death, or whatever, let's just end this. So how many men did we lose? 53. More than I would have liked, but whatever. It's too busy having a rant. Still no sign of the settlement. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe maybe we can just sneak one of these in. And they can help yes, us find it. Position. So we're allied to the to the um Iberian tribes. Okay, where am I? Horse archers there, there. Who is my As you wish. No more moves. Okay, there's no more construction that needs to be done. It was a very expensive turn. If you have a look here, probably yeah, look at that. Seventy thousand. But we've still we've still got a lot of money coming in. Hundred and ten thousand a turn roughly. My lord? Forward. Out of moves. Yes, Stratigos. Okay, um, everything seems to be under control. We've moved everyone that we can, I think. Have we moved you? No. Um, yeah, you go and help them out this way. Then again, that's a really small garrison. Maybe you should handle that. Alright, looks like we're at the end turn here. Let's just just want to retrain these again. Just to make sure they do actually get the experience. So we do need to make sure they have the experience. These ones here, I mean they've still got the armor upgrades and everything, so it doesn't matter if we don't do them more. We just need to get a move on, I think. Oh, I forgot to retrain those um uh what are they called? Chariots. Not really a big deal. Got no huge demand for them right now. Alright, so over here it's just one siege tower. Uh, not see tower, see a ram. So um, it's probably not even going to get to the gate. They burn very quickly. And the funny thing is, whenever someone, uh, you know, going back to my initial red, whenever someone comes and be uh, rude to me. It's usually someone, actually 90% of the time, it's someone who just pops into, uh, you know, just discovers my channel for the first time, pops into a random series, midway through it, and then starts asking all these questions like, why haven't I done this? Why haven't I done that? And do you know what the funny thing is? You know, sometimes they ask me like, why haven't I done something? And I've fucking done it. So there was one fucking idiot a while ago, absolute pure idiot, he was like, why haven't I ever done a Western Roman Empire campaign for Rome 1? I was just like, okay, well clearly you're new around here. You could have easily just checked my playlist and see, yeah, there was one there and it was completed. And he made out like I was actually favorable of Total War Attila. So I was like, okay, you clearly haven't been around for long. I complain on Total War Attila about on a daily basis. So, I don't know, fuck, before you ask me a question, at least do some research. I'm not here to fucking guide you through my channel. Playlists are there, go fucking find what you want yourself. I'm not here to baby you. I don't want to deal with babies. And children. I mean, you, look, if you are like under 15 or whatever and you watch my channel, that's fine. But I'm not going to treat you like kids. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the fucking frying pan. See, yeah. 
Killed five that time. They're just being a nuisance, but it's not worth my time to go over there and um, deal with them if they're just going to keep being a nuisance. What I need to do is, you know, like I said, cut the cancer out at the source. Go and find their settlements, where they're coming from, and kill them there. I still think the Sweebos will declare war on me at some point. Because this is the hardest difficulty. I mean, even though we've got a common enemy, the, um, the Romans, um, look how much territory I've got. They're bound to be threatened by that. I've got more money than, than it said I would. Alright then, let's, let's start getting moving. Maybe I should have recruited a ship, but, I don't know, I didn't feel like it. Although, I think I will build a ship. It'll just have to catch up with them later down the track. So they're now richer than me? Holy shit. How are they getting so much money? Maybe they're just not spending. Okay, so we just want the cheap ship. Just move from port to port. Because the thing is, like, they put this kind of ship in there, and it's not even the strongest one. And they make its upkeep cost not worth getting. Like, why do they do that? Like, do you think we ever rely that much on, like, naval combat in this? The navies can't take settlements. Why would we pay more? Why would we pay the cost of an entire army for one ship? It's not worth it. And I get that they're trying to be maybe historically accurate, that navies would be more cost effective, but. And not cost effective, would be um, more expensive, but you know. Ready. I see those numbers and I go, mathematically, Ready. that is just a dud deal. My lord. Move out. Out of move. And yes. I'm not, not interested in playing out dud deals just for historical significance. I don't do no that. Moves, the thing is, whenever someone like comments sir. on my on this camp particular campaign and they like are critiquing it in some way. Their usual fallback is, well, I like to play this game in a historical sort of way. Okay. How does that fucking add emphasis to your point? It adds absolutely no weight at all. Because none of these factions historically conquered the world. Not even, you know, Rome. I mean, you know, they conquered the most of it. Didn't get the whole map. So, I don't know. By, by saying, oh, I'm trying to be historically accurate, you're actually saying, I'm not interested in winning. Yes, Alright, so this guy here, is any good? Okay, he's not worth going to save. If they want to do that, that's fine with me. Where did... Oh, good, they buggered off. Alright. It's fine. What do they do? They declare war and then besiege it for one turn, then fuck off. I, mean, I don't particularly mind. Okay, I don't know where the settlement is around here. If I had spies, they're long since dead. I should recruit some more. My lord, onward. My lord. My lord. March. Orders. Okay, I want you to lay siege. You're not going to be able to attack it. But I'm sure that they'll either sally out on us, or we'll just lay siege to annoy them. They won't be able to recruit while they're there. How strong are they in comparison with, say, the Romans? Their overall rankings high. The military rankings about the same. Territorially, they're larger. The population's high, right? The thing is, we're not comparing that to Rome at their strongest. That's it, they're Rome at their current weakest. Should recruit another one here. And retrain these guys. So what happened over here? Oh yeah, that's right, I retrained them. Are they going to make the attack? Yeah. Okay, Spy, find me that settlement.
Where the fuck is it? It must be down here somewhere. So I, I went the wrong way. At least that guy was good enough to, to show me that this was the wrong way. So just by process of elimination, if it's not in the north, it has to be in the south. I mean, we can see the borders. It's somewhere in here. I'm just not overly familiar with the map anymore. Hadn't played this game in ages. But as in before starting this up. And who's going to remember the exact locations of 199 settlements? I mean, unless you fucking play this game non-stop. So yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight him. Or will he stand aside, you reckon? He's probably not gonna stand aside. But we gotta punch through him in order to get to down this way. Or we could just bypass it. The thing is though, can you cross the river that way? Is that a river crossing right there? Oh, could you just go check? No, the river crossing's there. So the quickest way is actually probably going around here. So the guys are not blocking us. They might they might besiege the fort, which is fine by me if they do that. Because no um, basically I just want to get to Aventikos as quickly as we can. We should be able to get there next turn. Alright. Eyes over here now. There are other settlement VNLs. So seeing... All of this here, this is probably, this for the first time, we can actually see their whole strength north of Italy in Switzerland out this way. But I'm um, just unsure of what they've got out here in Iberia. They're definitely, you know, they're on their way out. They're not going to win. Of course they're not. Look at, look at me, i got 130 settlements. As if they can touch me, bitch. My lord! Yeah, he wasn't worth saving. Ready to sail. Set sail. So this guy's going back for retraining. All ashore. Yep. Yes, Stratigos. Ordeps. Scythian riders, I don't really need them. Nor do I really need them anymore. I'm just thinking about, you know, where am I going to bring with these forces? Just need to keep an eye out for pirates. I don't see any at the moment. So we should be fine. Bringing them over here, I think, is our best bet. Because there's generals or governors here that could probably use another army. And you know what, 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 this force over here, why don't we send it up this way? Because this is going to be more profitable than fighting Rome at the moment, because it's closer to the capital. Alright, let's build some stuff. What to build here? I think we can still afford to build expensive... You know, stuff that's uh, worth investing into. Ubar, minor city. What are we doing here? Public orders, nice and good. That's what we want to see. Let's build a market. I reckon these two buildings here require a market to be built. This large city seems good. What's a spy doing here? He must be pretty old. Spy Guild Master. He'll lose that if he leaves the settlement. Well, I don't need him here, that's the thing. Okay, well, we could certainly build that, because I, I doubt there's any corruption there. It's very close to the capital. Sidon. 
doesn't really need anything, but if we build up this chain here, there's that, um, the, the next level that provides a lot of trade income. It's good to see these settlements are growing. Growing to their final stage now. Hang on, wait. Let me go back to that settlement. Is it corrupt at all? Okay, so there's a little bit of corruption here. What we can do... We don't need this building anymore. It increases happiness and completely gets rid of corruption. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed it because we've still got one extra law coming from that. Well, ah, oh shit. Well, whatever. You can always rebuild it another time. Is this? Yep. Um. Build that. We get those markets building because they can provide, um, you know, not heap loads of money, but when there's nothing really else to build, it's they're pretty good buildings. Public order here is really good. He can leave. I'll come back to him in a moment. Limonum. Um. Build that. Okay, so, coming to this region, can you leave? Okay, yeah, you can leave it. That'll need to be destroyed. Okay, good, it's fine. Alright, so we'll take you, and um, you could be quite a good governor, if you can manage to make your way over this way. Because you're fairly young, aren't you? 26, yeah. Could end up being a good general one day. Unlikely, but... Because the generals just don't fucking get any, um... What's it called? Any command points in this? It's too hard. Well, not too hard. It takes too long to, for them to get command. You've got to, like, fight battle after battle after battle, but it's... The way I do things is that I end wars very quickly. Anyway, I don't need 10-star generals. It's not the measure of a country's worth for having fantastic generals. It's the it's the civilians. Those are the things that matter, how well the civilians are managed. Feel free to disagree with me, but you're wrong. Yeah, the, the public order here will be okay. Yeah, I'll take them with us. The public order in the settlement will be fine. Let me just check that again. What are these units? Come with 200. They're a little bit expensive, but it's fine. Alright, um, yeah, you need to come down here where there's going to be a big rebel fight. And the thing is, we need to take the settlement very quickly because I think if we were to defeat one of these armies, in certain settlements, their rebel armies are scripted to respawn after they've been destroyed if it's not already been captured. I was hoping maybe Germania would go and take that stuff by now. Yeah, you What are you doing? You should come down south. That's where the real fighting is. I hope they attack this army. I like using horse archers. Quick battles, and I love slaughtering people that just can't get to us. Of course, I hate it when it's done to me. But that's the way things happen sometimes. Alright, um, 
It, the end turn, there's likely to be quite a few battles, so I should probably end the video before ending the turn. It's a bit of a short video, but it's better safe than sorry, just because, it, you know, crash has happened, and when the crash happens, it puts me in a bad mood. I just have to fucking redo things. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part... Hang on, sorry, I haven't finished all the construction. Maybe that was the last one. Let me just do it quickly through this. Yeah, there was just there was the only one that I think that I missed. Anyway, so like and subscribe, part 137 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.